I found this RC Percy on a mystery box 17 and the listing I just checked the listing the seller uh, described that it was for parts or not working but look at the face Uh, this is from Hittai Company 2007. Oh, I mean, 2007. I'm about to find out what is going on. I can see that battery contacts are really clean. Now, I'm going to put batteries. I don't like to show the brands of the uh, manufacturers because I'm not going to promote their products so anyways uh, one way to find really quick see that little light over there this little light right here uh, if it's blinking light that means the batteries are low on charge now I'm gonna turn the switch on and I will remove one battery so you will see if the light blinks that means that we have uh, a full circuit uh, working circuit let's see there you go see that that means that this remote control model train uh, Percy it's uh, full. I mean, we have a current. We have the um, full circuit operational circuit. Now we have to find out if the motor is really working or no. Now let's go to the remote. Well, before that, you see that it has with white foot plate. That's really nice and. Uh, these little domes or whatever it is it's on a great color they actually painted the springs right here and this is supposed to be a um, passenger coach it looks like uh, any Claraber model okay let's see the remote okay the remote is a little dirty I wanna clean it up a little bit okay This is not a restoration, so I'm just gonna test if it works or no. I might, I might find the um, color uh, spray paint to repair that. That part, okay, we have a clean battery contact right there. You see, yes those contacts are clean now I'm gonna put the batteries in it again I'm gonna try to hide the batteries you know the brand but anyways okay now we press the buttons not working now here's the main mistake some people think because there's no sound now there is a switch on the bottom of the remote see that is on the off position now I'm gonna turn it on now let's try it you gotta keep pressing this button right here so you can play this the theme song So if you keep playing, uh, pressing, holding the, uh, the the button right here, button, it will keep 
you know, playing uh, uh, again and again this, the, this, the theme song. There are other models that you just press once and then it will keep, you know, playing the song without interruption until the end. But this one you have to keep holding it. That's the whistle. And we have, we can see, you can see right here the number six. Yeah, the couch is right there. Yeah, it's nice. Now. For the reverse function, you gotta keep holding it. There's no way to, if you go forward, you can leave it like that. Okay, let's try it. And actually it's really quiet. I mean, I'm gonna try to put the remote really far. Wow. Really quiet, really quiet engine. I, I turn on the switch, off the switch. So this was a really nice find. The only thing was um, maybe the, the seller had no batteries or he forgot to turn the switch to the on position on this remote. But that was a nice find. See the face you see right here is the only one you can find on the RC model trains you will not find it on any standard um, track master play rail versions only on the rc model trains yeah just a little like not like lightning i will go ahead and use my oil marker remember oil based marker just a little bit touch up right there and on the corner right here Maybe a little bit here. Okay, a little bit more here. And that's good. Everything looks nice. It looks in really good condition. Yeah, this was definitely a nice find. Look, the copler is really white and clean. Now, I tried to use uh, green marker before, before I started recording but I mean the green marker is not the same so I gotta find uh, the perfect color for the remote and try to repaint it restore it and for these marks right here and over here you can use uh, let me show you you can use a little bit of rubbing alcohol with a towel but just on this plastic area do not I do not recommend use on this part right here or the roof on the uh, model trains because you are you will erase uh, you will remove the paint see that let me just do it very, very carefully now you are getting a clean we are getting a clean remote control right here remember i'm using a rubbing alcohol i'm gonna put a little bit more for that mark okay there now this one i will try to use just a clean paper i'm gonna use some I'm gonna switch to the uh, baby wipe. See if it works. No. But I gotta find uh, the perfect match for the color so I can repaint it. A little bit of sanding. Let me show you right here. I'm gonna try to use with a little bit of rubbing alcohol. 
okay it's, I'm not erasing the green paint I'm not removing the green paint but see it's coming off so I do not recommend to use uh, alcohol in these parts unless you make it really really careful just a little bit where the marks are and that's it okay this was a nice find uh, thanks for watching over and out